I didn't do it. Definitely. They say I did it, but I didn't, and that's the truth. I'm sat here talking to you now, aren't I? I wouldn't be doing that if I was guilty. Just don't listen to them. They're out to get me. If you look a little further, you'll see that they are. They think this is fine. They think that me sat here talking to you now is fine, but it's not. I'm scared. This is all new to me. I've never been in this situation before. And I've been worrying sick about all of this because I didn't do it. But I can't say this. I can't say these words because they won't be listened to. So I'll stay quiet. No, Jen, please, it's urgent. Is this about your fish tank? Because I swear all the fish were dead before I knocked it over. What? No, it's not about that. It's about Emma. I'm in love with her. So that's it? That's your big news? Yes, that's my big news. Okay, uh, I once made out with a Backstreet Boy. Or was it the gay guy from NSYNC? Either way, too much tongue. What are you talking about? I thought we were just swapping stories. Wait, please. She's getting on a plane tonight. And I need to tell her how I feel, but I don't know how. Yeah, that feels like a you problem. Look, I'll cover your work on Friday if you help me. Whatever you need. Sold. Jen, all about it. Ever since she started the company, I've been in love with her. And now she's leaving, I need to tell her how I feel. And if there's any chance I can win her over, I need to do it now. I ask you, Jen, but I'm desperate, and I know she's your mate. Paul, sweetie, I hate to burst your bubble. No, you don't. No, I don't. But this is a bad idea. Why? Oh, you and Emma, that, that's never gonna happen. I mean, your whole crush thing was cute for a while. Creepy, but cute. I'll tell you what it is, right? It's the little things that make me happy. Stupid things. Like, you know, for example, I hate my job. <laughs> I hate it. I wake up in the morning and I feel sick about my life. But I like it when two cars the same colour are parked next to each other. I like smoking cigarettes on cold days. I like it when someone makes me a cup of tea, just the way I like it, without me having to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when Sally laughs with a mouthful. I like quiz shows. I like that elephants bury their dead. I'll never be anybody's fucking hero, right? I'll never be celebrated, and I'll never look in the mirror and think, oh, that's right, hot shot, you're the fucking man. But I like listening to the radio. And fuck it. I like it when Sally's brother invites me around to watch the rugby, even though I fucking hate watching the rugby. But it shows he's trying. Do you know what I mean? Do you? Do you know what I mean? Fuck you, Jen. I've been wanting to say this for a while now, but fuck you. Excuse me? I come here with no other options, and this is how you behave. You insult me and tell me that I need to be given up on love. You can't just be treating people like this. You're cruel. And you know what? I pity you. Because the only thing that you're good at is kicking people when they're down. 
you don't know me. You don't understand me. You can never understand me because you don't know what it's like to be rejected by every single girl that I've ever loved. How much I want a beautiful, happy lady to share my life with. I'm sick of feeling like this, Jen. I'm empty and cold. So, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Jen. I'm tired of you. I'm done with you. And I'm done chasing a hopeless dream. Your grace shall pardon me. I will not back. I am too high-born to be propertied, to be a secondary at control or a useful serving man and instrument to any sovereign state throughout the world. <laughs> Your breath first kindled the dead coal of wars between this chastised kingdom and myself and brought in matter that should feed this fire and now it is far too huge to be blown out by that same weak wind which enkindled it. You taught me how to know the face of right, acquainted me with interest to this land, yea, thrust this enterprise into my heart and come ye now to tell me that John hath made his peace with Rome that peace to me. I, by the honour of my marriage bed, after young Arthur, claim this land for mine. Must I back, because that John hath made his peace with Rome? Am I Rome's slave? What penny hath Rome borne? What men provided? What munitions sent to underprop this action? Is it not I that undergo this charge? Who else but I? As such, as to my claim, are liable, sweat in this business, and maintain this war. Have I not heard the islanders shout out, Vive Loire, as I bank their towns? Have I not the best cards for the game, to win this easy match played for a crown? And shall I now give her the yielded set? No. No. On my soul. It never shall be said. <laughs>